if you usually make your own chicken feed at the farm or you are considering to do so, then this video is for you. Mixing poultry feed ingredients in large quantities is usually done using a feed mixing machine, but many poultry farmers who make their own feed at the farm may not have access to these machines. You see, feed mixing is one of the most important steps in chicken feed formulation. If you mess up during mixing of the feed, it doesn't matter if the ingredients are of the high quality or you have the best formula, you will end up with a poorly nutritionally balanced chicken feed and to avoid all these mistakes during feed mixing so that you can be able to avoid losses in this video i will share with you the best method to mix your own chicken feed at the farm in the next couple of minutes i shall use two different feed formulas to demonstrate the proper way of mixing chicken feed at the farm but before we get into this video kindly if you haven't subscribed into this youtube channel make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so that you are notified every time that we post a new video also if you get value from our videos make sure that you hit that like button and also share with other farmers so that they can be able to access this important information after the hard work of looking for and preparing your organic poultry feed ingredients and ensuring that they are safe and of high quality, you now have to weigh each ingredient as stipulated on the formula that you are using. And after that, after this, you are now going to mix the ingredients to formulate a well-balanced diet. And here is a procedure that I'm going to demonstrate using the formulas on my computer so that you can know the correct procedures to apply. And this applies for all types of chicken if you're making the feeds for layers, drayers, or even the local chicken. So I hope that my screen is clear. And now, as you can see on the right, on the left hand side, we have this ingredient type here as you can see then you have ration a and you have ration b and you have the ingredient class and as you can see here we have the ingredients on this side and we have the ration a and it's all the amounts and ration b all the amounts then in the ingredient class we have the bulky quantity and the small quantity the difference is that the bulky quantity is made up of the ingredients that are in large amounts but for the small quantity it's the ingredients that are are in the small amounts and i want us to first deal with the ration a and in ration a what you are going to do is you are going to measure the amounts of each ingredient for example the maize you measure 59 pass, uh, 59 kgs for the sunflower all of them you are going to measure them from maize maize all the way to the toxin binder after measuring these ingredients and putting them differently before you do any mixing you are going to make a concentrate and what is a concentrate a concentrate as you can see here is a mixture of small amounts small quantity ingredients plus portion of bulky quantity the reason as to why we are making this concentrate is because for example if you take lysine which is 0.1 kgs you come and mix it in in this bulky quantity which is so large which makes about 80 percent not even 80 percent about 95 percent of the total feed this 0.1 percent of lysine or 0.1 kg of lysine will not mix completely will not mix properly and what you are going to end up with is a poorly balanced feed and that is why first we are mixing this small quantity with a portion of this bigger quantity so that we we make sure that this 0.1 of lysine of this methionine all these small quantity ingredients we are making sure that they have been properly mixed in the whole feed so what we do here a concentrate should con should be 20 percent of the total feed and what is 20 percent of our 100 percent remember we are dealing with ration a our ration a is uh, made up of a total of 100 kgs so to make concent a concentrate of ration a 
we are going to take the 20 pass uh, we are going to take 20 percent of their 100 and that is equals to 20 kgs as you can see here i have calculated for you so after now knowing that you need 20 kgs to make this concentrate for ration a you are now going to mix all the small quantity sm all the small quantity ingredients that is from dcp which is one kg all the way to toxin binder for this ration a you mix them together and if you mix them together you are going to get to a total of two kgs so as we have said our concentrate should contain mixture of all small quantity ingredients plus a portion of the bulky quantity and we have said our small quantity uh, add up to 2 kgs so we need 18 more 18 kgs more so that we can reach to our required 20 kgs therefore where are we going to get these 18 kgs from these 18 kgs are going to be gotten from the 59 kgs of the maize because as i have written see here 59 kgs of the maize because it is the biggest portion of the bulky quantity so you are going to mix the 18 kg of maize here now you are going to take 59 here uh, from this ration a you minus um you minus the 18 kgs after you minus you are going to be left with around 41 kgs of maize now you take those 18 kgs of maize you add or you mix together with the 2 kgs of the small quantity ingredients remember that we have mixed all the small quantity together these these ones here we have mixed them all of them in ration a after getting the 18 kgs from the maize here you are going now to be left with 41 so you are going to take the 41 kgs of maize plus the 5 of sunflower plus the 20 of soybean 5 of fish meal and 9 of limestone you mix that portion that we are calling the bulky quantity you mix it completely after you have excluded the 18 kg from the maize after that now you are going to have two parts one the concentrate which is will be a mixture of 18 kg maize plus 2 kg of the small quantity then you are going to have another portion of containing only the bulky quantity ingredients after that after mixing each portion properly you are now going to sprinkle the mixture you are now going to sprinkle the mixture on the thoroughly mixed bulk quantity and then mix them up all of them yeah it's now you are taking the concentrate uh the concentrate and here you, you, we said you have the bulky quantity now you are going to put all this together and you mix them after mixing them then now you get your whole feed that is properly balanced that is portion a that is a ration a let us now go to ration b now when it comes to ration b you can see that the amount of the ingredients have changed the ingredients are the same but the, the amounts have changed for example in when it comes to wheat bran you see in ration a it was zero but here we have five and the same is for maize jam here is zero but you can see here is it's around 20 it's 20 so what we are going to do in ration b it is almost the same as what we have done in ration a the difference is that when it comes to the bulky quantity we have maize at 39 uh, let me change the pen we have maize at 39 and we have um, maize jam at 20 these two are the ones that are making the largest quantity or portion of the bulky quantity therefore uh, you can read with, with me here in ration b when making the concentrate pre, uh, for ration b it is the same as ration a but the 18 kgs are going to be subtracted from both the maize and the maize jam and this is because they are the two biggest portions of ration b's bulky quantity so uh, if you don't know where we get the 18 kgs we have said that our concentrate a concentrate should be equals to 20 percent of the it should be 20 percent of the whole portion and the whole 
ration or portion of food or feed that we are making is 100 kgs. Therefore, 20% of 100 kgs is 20 kgs. And we have said if you add the small quantity, and this happens the same for uh, this ration B, if you add all this, these small quantity ingredients which are in yellow color, you are going to get 2 kgs. So, if you need 20 kgs to make a concentrate, and we have said that the concentrate should be a mixture of the, the whole of the small quantity plus a portion of the bulky quantity. And we have said the small quantity is 2 kgs. So we need 18 kgs from the bulky quantity. And for ration B, we have said the 18 kgs are now going to be subtracted from maize and maize jam because they are the two biggest portions. Therefore, 9 kg, you get 9 kg from the maize. So you are going to be left with 29. You are going to minus here 9 of 9 kg. Then in maize jam also you minus 9 kgs. After subtracting this, this 9 kg from maize and 9 kgs from maize jam, you are now going to take this portion, this 18 kgs here, and now you come and make your concentrate. After you make now your concentrate, you are going to mix the rest, the rest that of the ingredients. You mix them properly, then you mix the concentrate properly, then as we have said in ration A, you mix them together. And those are the two ways based on the formulas that I have here that you can use so that you can be able to mix your feeds properly. And as you follow this mixing procedure, I also recommend that you hit the video that is on your screen right now so that you can be able to know the feed formulation for local chicken feed.